this is nothing that we've uh, come up with <laughs> on our own. It's uh, something that people have been doing for years. Uh, bringing in a lot of middle infielders, a lot of shortstops. Uh, and those guys are typically the best athletes on your team uh, and, and have the ability to bounce around a lot of different spots. So, you know, Trey was our everyday shortstop last year, uh, played just about every single game, uh, and uh, he had a very good freshman year. He can play there, we know we can do that. He can play second, uh, he can probably play third for us in a bind. You know, Adam Tui, Aaron Wilson, uh, Brian Estevez, Jeremy Charles, Nick Dumar, uh, just about every single one of those guys was a high school shortstop. And they're bouncing around all over the infield. And a couple of them have taken reps in the outfield as well. So yeah, we, we want to pride ourselves on being able to take a guy from one spot, throw him to another place, and, and be able to do it seamlessly uh, and not miss a beat. I think we look much better this year. We're, we're a lot more athletic team than we have been the past few years. You know, Coach Will did a really good job recruiting freshmen who are really good, at, really good athletically, play multiple positions, especially at the middle. And you know, we have we have a lot of different um, defenses. We can switch people around, third, short, second, all over. So, um, you know, there, there are a lot of young guys this year, and they, and they can all play. And um, you know, we we got our uh, a lot of returning guys too. So, you know, I think together we uh, we all work well as a team. And we all can play a lot of different positions. So I think that's a that's a strength for our defense. When you have a much more athletic team like that, you know, if, if say, someone's struggling with the middle, you can always flip-flop someone else, take the shortstop, put them at second, or even, you know, if he has to take out a game here or there, you put someone else off the bench, put them at short, and you're not really losing anything, so that's, that's always a perk. Um, we've got uh, a couple freshmen, a couple returners uh, who, are, who are out in the outfield. Chris Del Debio is a freshman who uh, had a really good fall for us, um, looks to be our center fielder. Uh, he can go get it. He's, he's a very athletic kid, has a knack for, for just seeing the ball off the bat and seems to always be in the right position. Um, Ryan Lukacs, who played some outfield for us last year before hurting his knee, um, you know, he's back out there, probably going to be in right. Uh, Pat Knopf, who was in right field some, left field some, uh, he's back out there. Um, you know, he was very productive for us at times last year, and, and we know that. He's a reliable guy. Sam Bellick, uh, another freshman who is a good defender, was a center fielder in high school that has been spending a lot of time at the corners. Uh, he can definitely go get it too. Last year we had all three of our catchers on the field at one time, <laughs> just about every single game. Um, you know, between Alex and Andy and, and Fonzie, um, they were they were all out there, not necessarily in the correct position or, or position that was their strong suit, but. Uh, we were trying to fill as many holes as we could, and they were productive guys in, in many ways. This year, though, we, we know James Alfonso back again. Um, had a good fall. Defensively, he has uh, continued to make strides. He's throwing the ball better. Uh, his blocking came a long way last year and, and has continued to improve. Receiving has gotten much better. Um, you know, we really feel like he's one of the better, one of the better catchers in the region. And then Billy Walker, freshman, who has come in and, and done a great job behind him. Um, had a little knee injury that was slowing him down a little bit in the fall, but he, he looks very athletic right now um, and uh, looks better getting into blocking positions, receiving the ball, throwing the ball. And Billy has always been blessed uh, at being able to swing the bat. So we know he's going to hit, uh, so he'll be able to help us. Uh, and Joe Roberti and Matt Cabazon, two other freshmen, um, Cabazon has been a blocking machine for the last couple of days. He's been doing a really good job at practice. Uh, you know, he's got some other things that he's still working on, but uh, there are parts of his game that, that, that are definitely, uh, you know, as, as good, if, if not a little bit better than some of the other guys. Uh, so he'll be pushing. And then Joel Roberti uh, is another guy who's kind of one of those grinder catchers. Playing on a turf field, Defense should be something that that we're <laughs> very good at, you know, and I, I think that that's something that uh, the program has struggled with. And you know, we we hope that now we have enough pieces in place um, where we're going to fill all those holes. And you know, we've got guys with more speed, like I said, guys with more versatility, and and guys who can just make plays.